Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is Apostle Fabian, and I'm coming uh, to you once again. But this time, I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing something that I believe uh, that uh, seemeth good to, to us and seemeth good to me and to the Holy Ghost to begin to offer preaching 101 nuggets on video. Uh, yeah, if you notice, if you've been following me on Facebook, and if you listen to this on YouTube, you can go to my Facebook channel, Apostle Fabian, uh, which is my ministry, uh, ministry uh, page. But if you notice, uh, for the last month or so, uh, I have been releasing uh, nuggets that the Spirit of God has given to me uh, to give to his preachers, to help his preachers. You know, sometimes preachers uh, need a oomph in the Spirit, if you will. They, they need a word of encouragement, you know, to keep them going uh, because preaching is a very arduous task. It's, it's, it's very demanding. Uh, and sometimes a preacher just needs to be uh, encouraged from time to time. So the Spirit of God dropped that in me, preaching 101. And uh, I want to uh, uh, begin to give it on video. I want to put it on video on YouTube. So if a preacher misses it, he can go back and listen at it over and over. He can glean insights from it. And also, because I have a larger audience, uh, I want to touch my YouTube family and my Twitter family that may not be uh, my Facebook friends. So I just want to give it to every preacher uh, that's listening. Now, believers, you are not excluded from this because... Uh, all believers are called to preach. Now, all believers are not preachers, but all of them are called to preach. So there will be a truth in here for you. There is there will be a nugget in here for you, uh, for you to take it. And maybe in the future, if you get the revelation of God's call uh, on your life to preach, you'll have this nugget um, to help you and to increase you. So if I would, uh, if I could, I would like to give you an arrow for your quiver. I, I said I'd like to give you an arrow uh, for your quiver, preacher, uh, if you would turn uh, in your Bibles to Exodus chapter 24, Exodus chapter 24, beginning at verse 1. Now, I'm just going to give you three verses. I'm just going to cover three verses, and I'm just going to extrapolate some things out and pontificate, if I could, the wisdom that I believe that God uh, is giving me for preachers. I believe this. I believe that God is up to something with his preachers. And I'm so glad to be a part of it. I'm so glad that you would take out the time and the patience to listen at the future preaching 101 nuggets that would be released from the treasury of the preacher. Amen. To bless you and to encourage you uh, and to keep you uh, rooted and grounded uh, 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 in the things of of God and in the call of God uh, for your life. So in these nuggets, I will be releasing uh, things about your preparation, your activation, your training, your calling, your studying, your praying. However the Spirit of God gives it to me, I will give it to you. Uh, it's just an in nugget form. You can take it and build on it and do with it uh, what you will. But this is just something free uh, 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 from the treasury of the apostle that it may bless you. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. So if you got Exodus chapter 24, uh, I want you to put your finger on verse 1. Mark verse 1. I want you to mark verse 9. And I want you to mark verse 9, 10, and 11. Exodus 24. Verses 1, 9 through 11. And like I said, I'm just giving you a nugget. You can build on it how the Spirit of God leads you. Uh, Exodus 24, and it reads on this word, it reads on this wise. Father, give us revelation and release uh, some wisdom. Uh, it says, now he said to Moses, this is God, come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu and 70 of the elders of Israel and worship from afar. Verse 9. Then Moses went up. Then Moses went up. Also Aaron, Nadab, Nadab and Abihu and 70 of the elders of Israel 
and they saw the God of Israel and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of sapphire stone and it was like the very heavens in its clarity but on the nobles of the children of Israel he did not lay his hand so they saw God and they ate and drank so they saw God and they ate and drank now if I could just give a mini title to this I will I would call this every preacher is responsible to have dinner with God uh, did you get that every preacher is responsible to have dinner with God. Now, if you go back to verse 1, let us begin to pull out uh, some Jews and some crews, if we could, uh, to give you, preacher, that I believe that's going to bless you and it's going to help you. Now, listen, the word of God came. Now, he said to Moses, come up to the Lord. Uh, this is God speaking to the leader. Now I'm talking to preachers and I'm talking also to the leaders in the congregation. This could also be good for the elders. This, this is good for elders because elders should be preachers. And this is one of the scriptures that I use when I teach on elders and the eldership. But now God said to Moses, come up to the Lord. And you, he gives specifically who's to come up to the Lord. Now bear with me. You and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel, and worship from afar. Now listen to what he told Moses. He called Moses up. He specifically told Moses who to bring. And he said, come up and worship. But now where were they coming up to? They was to come up to the Lord. This is what the responsibility of the leaders, a, a preacher, is to bring those up under him, up to the Lord. He's to bring them up to another level, another level in wisdom, another level in revelation, another level in knowledge, listen, and worship. He is the, the leader is responsible to bring everybody up under him to another level in their worship. At the command, listen, of the Lord, God is saying to the preacher, listen, don't stay in that same place. You've circled this mountain long enough. Come on up in your fasting with the people. Come on up in your prayer time. Come on up in your study time. Come on up in your word time. Come on up, listen, in your worship uh, uh, for the people. It is the responsibility, listen, for every preacher to bring his people up, listen, listen, now to the Lord. Did you get that? He told him to come up to the Lord and go down to verse 9. And then Moses went up. Did you catch that? Leaders are responsible to obey the word of the Lord. If God tell you to do it, you need to do it. God called him up. He told him who to bring. And the Bible says, and Moses went up. That means Action. God gave the word. It's responsible. It's our responsibility to move. It's your responsibility, preacher, to move every time God tells you, listen, and he specifically told him who to bring. And then it says they saw the God of Israel. Now, listen, when God gives the word and we obey, listen, preacher, you can expect revelation. Ah, yeah, 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 you, you can expect revelation. Now listen to who it says that they saw. They saw the God of Israel. It wasn't any God. It wasn't any experience. They saw, listen, the divine trinity, the divine oneness of God. Listen, they saw God. So in this preacher, when you come up, God is going to give you a revelation to Israel. or He's going to give you the God of Israel, the God of the church, the God of your ministry is calling you up with your leadership to give you another level of revelation revelation and then it begins to, 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 to say and it says and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of sapphire stone under his feet they it, it, it is it, it was under they saw under his feet listen listen that 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 speaks to us of the 
intimate, listen, the intimate relationship that a preacher is to have with God. And it says he saw sapphire stone. This speaks of the prosperity and the blessings and the beauty of God as it is being revealed. And it says it was like the very heavens in its clarity. And in verse 11, it says, But on the nobles of the children of Israel, he did not lay his hand. But on the nobles, it means on the elders. It means it speaks of the other, the high men, the one uh, that God called up. Even though, listen, 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 some preachers, listen, listen to me, preachers. Sometimes you have to stay where God uh, is. It, it has you now. Listen for the for for the set man. God is calling you up higher. Listen, but for those that are under, listen, you must stay right there. It says that He laid not His hand or he did not stretch forth his hand. So that speaks to me that, listen, uh, that God had called the leader, he called the preacher to come before him as the king. But to the other set, listen, this is powerful, this is powerful, catch this, but to those of you, listen, that are not yet as set men in the church, listen, if God has not stretched his hand towards you, you stay in your place, you stay in your position, listen, until God stretches forth his hand towards you. Listen, listen, young preacher, listen, preacher, don't get out of the way of God. Don't get out of the will of God. Listen, God told you to come up. You done got a revelation. You done seen and entered into an intimate relationship with God. But if you're not the set man, you must stay in your place until God see fit to release you, until God see fit to let you go until God see fit. Now listen to what it says. It says, they saw God. It says, so they. In summary, it's saying, give, take, take into account the whole revelation. It says, so they saw God and they ate and drank. Let's stay right there, man. Let's stay right there. So they saw God and they ate. They had dinner with God and they drank. In your training or in your a, a, a preacher in your study time in your study you must continue to have dinner with God did you get that you must continue to have dinner with God you say well preacher how do you have dinner with God by constantly studying the Word of God by constantly increasing your knowledge constantly increasing your wisdom uh, with God by sitting at the Word of God God has given the preacher 66 books of revelation listen that reveals himself to mankind and to humanity you should always have a dinner date with God it says they ate with God and they drink with God. This is none other but but praise, worship, and praying in the Spirit of God. This is drinking from the river of God. Listen, this is what God desires for his preachers. Listen, preacher, listen, preacher. It is your responsibility to have dinner with God. It's you, every preacher, even though you are you are in an area of preparation because you may not be preaching, you may not be the man in the forefront, you may not be the one that God is using, but you still must, listen, get the revelation of God, you still must see God, you still must eat and drink with God, even though, even though you may not be the set man, but you must eat and you must drink with God. So that when your time come, listen, you will have a conviction that you saw God. Even though you may not be the said man, but you still, you are still responsible to have dinner with God. Amen. Amen. I pray that this revelation, I pray that this exhortation, this little truth, this little nugget uh, is a blessing to you. Listen, uh, preacher. And I pray that you continue to come on back, uh, you know, check on me uh, because I'm going to continue to release one or one. I got another revelation from here. I'm not going to preach it this time. I'm going to save it so that you can come back 
and eat with me. Again, God bless you. This is Apostle Fabian. Take this word. Take this arrow and put it in your quiver. God bless you. I love you. And I'll talk to you again.